Hey y'all, so if you got this um, template from ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com, this is a quick little tutorial showing you how to, um, what the layers for the name look like. So you can add your own name and how you can do that using Pixlr.com. You can use whatever software you want once you get the understanding or the concept of it. But I'm just showing you in Pixlr because it's accessible to everybody. It's free. You can use it right from your browser. You cannot use it on your phone. This particular editor editor will not come up on your phone. You can access their other ones, but not this one. Everybody can use this one, and it's it's easier. It's not. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it is easier. You can accomplish this using Pixlr. So let's jump right in to the explanation of the name. Okay, the name, you type your name out. Once you have your name and have it how you want it, you, um, you can add a gradient or whatever you want to do. You can add solid color, whatever you want to do. But you, you're going to need two of these layers, two of these main layers of the name. So you're going to make two. One will be on top and one will be on the third layer. So the, after you have this layer here, you want to make um, another duplicate and add an outline. So that would be the second layer. You can add a black outline, whatever color you want. This is just what I'm doing for this one. So you want to add a duplicate of the top layer again and add um, the black outline. So the other duplicate, you want to slide it behind the black outline the one with the black outline. Now with the black outline, I just made, I made the outline and then I filled this whole thing with black so it wouldn't look like the gradient. So the whole thing is filled with black, but it is with the outline. So the next one that you did not add the outline to this, that when you first, when I first said you need two of the gradients, the next one you can add whatever color you want, but then you want to slide it to the left. As so as shown on here you want to slide it to the left so when you have the top layer on the layer with the outline on and the one you slid to the left it'll show like that okay yeah now you want to make a duplicate of your black layer you make the duplicate of that and then you slide it behind the yellow layer Slide it straight behind, keep it in the same place, but slide it behind the yellow layer. Don't slide it to the left. The yellow layer is the only layer you slide to the left. The yellow layer, is, which is your third layer, is the only layer you will slide to the left for this look. So you made your duplicate of this black layer. Then you want to add a stroke to it. You want to add a stroke or outline to that layer which I already did I added a, a pink outline and it was black so then after I added the pink outline I went on and filled it in with pink okay so I, I filled that that with pink after I filled that with pink then I made a duplicate of that layer then I added a blue line to it let me slide this back over then I added a blue outline to that and after adding the blue outline it was pink so I filled that in with blue the whole thing in with blue with the blue outline, I mean, yeah, with the blue layer, I made a duplicate of that and then add a black outline. So it looked just like this. Then on the black outline layer, I filled it in with blue. So it's a complete black layer. So to turn them back on, the blue layer, or to show you everything without its anything behind it first you have the black layer the blue layer 
the pink, yellow, another black, and your gradient layer. So when you turn everything on, this is what it will look like. And then you have to add the rest of the steps, which would be your blur and your bevel elements or styles. So while on your um, gradient layer, make sure you have that selected. You can go up in the top to filter. And let's go down to bevel. I will be showing a full video. This is just showing you what, what, when I'm talking about something, this is what's happening. I'm showing you up close what's happening. So with this, we might need to apply the um, bevel first because it just looks well maybe if i take the black off take some of that black back just messing around with it so we might need to do when i get ready to do the other video for um, the walkthrough, I might need to do the bevel before I add the gradient. I'm not sure. Because it's doing a little purple something down here. So we can change the... Um, size of the <laughs> I had got into my own head there for a second sorry <laughs> change the size of the um I mean the color of the shadow okay we're gonna go with with what we see here yeah this way is what I want that looks better that looks better so we're going to leave that like that. I'm going to hit apply. And then on the next layer, which is the black layer, we'll come we'll come back to that layer. Let's go to the yellow layer. On the yellow layer, we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to um, details and then we're going to go to Gaussian blur. And we're going to use the slider and slide it out to the blur you like. This is starting to build the um, airbrush look or the effect of airbrush. And you apply it. Then you go on to the pink layer and you go up to filter, details, Gaussian blur. and slide it out to what you like it's all up to you then apply so then you click on the blue layer same thing details cause the blur move your slider to what you like and apply black layer filter details cause the blur And you might want to do that one like super, super blurred. Because you see, 
that makes it crisp. You can do crisp if you want to, but if you want to go more with the um, effect for airbrush, just the key is to blur and stuff. Blurring your elements. So now let's go back on that first black layer and we want to add some blur to that as well. Gaussian blur. So now we have everything blurred and this is a go. This is pretty much a done earring other than we need to add some more star elements. And I'll do that on the full video. I hope this helps explain the layers for the name. So you have your, you have your, Gradient, gradient um, first layer, and we add, added a bevel. We added a gradient and a bevel to it. Then we added the a second layer of this, which we turned yellow and slid to the left. And that is the third layer, actually the third layer. So then we added another level, I mean, um, name layer and added a stroke to it that is the second layer that we did we added a stroke and filled everything in with black so then the third layer which I already spoke about we just slid it to the um, left then we added a second layer of this black layer and added a stroke pink stroke and turned everything pink then we added a, another layer of the pink stroke layer and added, added a blue stroke and turned everything blue. Added another layer of the blue stroke layer, added a stroke and turned everything black. That was a little tongue twister. And we get what you see here. And then we added blurs to everything except for the top layer, except for the gradient layer. Now we can start adding our stars. I hope this helps. And we're back. Now let's take a look at from scratch build. So we'll come to pixlr.com, click E. This um, is a computer based program, as I said before. And create new, make sure it's on full HD. Go ahead and name it. Whatever you want to name down here, just down here. You might need to slide your move your slider down, but just down here it says create. So click create and it'll open a new screen. And if you're new, it used to be when you come in, first time coming in, it was on dark mode. If you don't like that, click view and and toggle back to the light mode or flip back to the light mode now you want to start with pulling your image in so you can um, I already have it pulled in but just file and open image and then it opens opens your desktop so or wherever your images are so you can um, pull your image in so once you have your image in let's slide the screen back down once you have your image in, you can begin your work. You want to um, click text, add a text layer, and then just start typing whatever name you're going to be working with. You can change the sizing up here. You can change the letter spacing. All that you can change up here. You want to change your letter spacing here you can slide it however you like whatever you would like you can use the fonts that they have installed or you can add your own fonts and you will do that by adding hit add local and to do to add your local fonts then you will need to uh, find the font you want that's in your 
Windows font folder and add that font file to your desktop. So let me show you. Let me just slide the screen down. If you have a Windows um, computer, then you have this folder here. If you click that folder, it will bring up folders on your computer and you can hit you're looking for the C partition and you're looking for this folder here and you're looking for this font folder here and the top of this folder you'll want to like I, the font I'm using now is spirit It's the spirit so if you just key that in it'll bring up the the font you're looking for and then you just drag and drop this in this file here to your desktop I already have it on mine so I won't do that then you hit add local font here and then go straight to your desktop and scroll down and find where the font is and then you can enter in enter it into here and it will put it at the top whichever one font you put in last it will be at the top up here okay so that's how you get your your own fonts in here if they, you don't like what they have so you major um your name whatever you want to make it whatever you're working on whatever it don't have to be a specific color right now as you've seen before so up here you're going to layer and you're going to raster make sure you have everything spelled the way you need it spelled because once you raster it you can't only thing you can control Z to step back but if you go too far you, it's just a lot so you have to start over so now th this thing puts a large bounding box around it I don't know why I don't like it so I just like to start with I like to um, copy that edit cut edit paste and then I'll go over here and delete that extra layer. Okay, so now you you got your base for your name. You don't want to um, drag it all the way to the edges of this um, earring because you're going to do those um, other layers. But place it in the center or wherever you want it. You can you can definitely. Um, turn it if you, however you want it whatever you want to do it's up to you so pretty much get that how you want it and then make a duplicate and this this um let's go to um, layer and make a duplicate and let's go ahead and make another one so we can have our um three layers three starting layers so the first layer you want to let's fill that with um, let's fill that first layer I don't know what happened. let's cancel let's step back and see what's going on okay um, layer duplicate slide that layer to the back so I call it layer duplicate and I'm going to slide you don't have to slide it I'm just doing that I'm just seeing what's making sure everything is like it's supposed to if you want to slide it slide it so let's make let's make um, let's fill the top layer with white okay did I not feel? No, I didn't apply it. Feel it and then apply it. So you edit, feel, choose your color, and then apply it. This next layer, which is this layer, let's fill it with, let's add a stroke. Turn that white layer back on and make sure you're on the second layer. Let's, let's not add the stroke yet. Let's um, go to the third layer and fill it with yellow. So 
So if your wand is filled with yellow, apply it. Now let's use your left arrow key and slide that layer to the left, as far as you want to slide it to the left. Now go back to the second layer and let's add a stroke as big as you want. We're going to make it black. Okay, we're going to apply like that so let's go back on my third layer I want to go over slide that over just a little bit more okay there now with that done you're gonna click on the layer you added the black outline to and we're gonna fill it with black apply I'll turn your top layer back on Then for your black um, layer you're gonna layer and you're gonna duplicate that layer and you're gonna pull it behind the yellow so this will be your fourth layer with that layer selected you want to add a stroke and you want to add let's see what, what what color was it pink I think I added pink so let's go up here, select that pink. Okay, apply. Well, let me step back. I didn't make it big enough. So edit, stroke, select my pink. Okay, and let's size it. apply that layer selected you want to make layer and duplicate well, before we do a duplicate just edit that layer edit and fill it with pink Fill that with pink and apply. Now we can make a duplicate. Duplicate layer. Duplicate that layer. Pull it behind that layer. And let's add a stroke with that layer. Stroke. Remember you can do them as big as you want or as small as you want. It's up to you. Click here. Then we're going to make that stroke blue and we're going to apply. Now we're going to take that layer and we're going to fill it with blue. So you can do your color picker or just click there like I had it earlier and just move it to blue and apply. Now we're going to take that layer and we're going to make a duplicate and pull it to the back and then we're going to edit add a stroke it's going to be a black stroke okay size it and apply <laughs> and then your did we turn it black okay so we added the stroke so edit fill and then we're going to make that black so the whole thing is black okay and then apply then the top you can select pixels hit the gradient box over here go up here and choose you can click here you can choose one they already they have already or you can choose your own you can Pick what colors you want to pick. Okay. Okay. And then once you get your colors selected, then you'll just you just click and drag. 
You can click and drag that way. You can click and drag that way. You can click and drag this way. Whatever you want to do until you get it however you like. You can put three colors, four colors, three colors, four colors, five, how many ever colors you want. So if you got it how you how you like it, then you just control D to deselect, or you can go up here to select and hit deselect. So once you have that, then you can go to filters and then you can go to bevel and you can turn your black back because it's a little harsh on this one and increase your white you can um, change the angle the size depth just get it to how you like it apply and then you see all the video for the other steps make sure you have the name where you want and once you do the the blur stuff then it's pretty much um, done then the next step is adding your star elements and to do so you just click let's go and add a um, empty layer so click the plus sign and click empty layer so it can be on top and then you just get your paintbrush here come up to the top and select what star you want to work with what size you want it to be now I can say this if you say you select this star and you come over here and you make the star you can always just keep copying and pasting that star you don't have to keep going up and you can drag it to whatever size you want and you can fill it here as well um, with white I didn't know I made two but yeah I'll be right back this I have to stop this video to start and start another one the time on it is run out and we're back so when we left off this I have made two stars so I'm just gonna delete it and go back over here and make an empty layer again and go back and choose my paintbrush it's already on the star that I had chose so I'm just gonna make it here and we're gonna fill that with white you can fill it with whatever color but white you could do white stars black stars blue stars you can use color stars that's the colors um in here so um yeah let me do that real quick so i'm gonna make get my color picker and i'm gonna choose this color here and i'm gonna apply it so again you know they this bounding box I hadn't taken the time to figure out how to not have that bounding box be so big so I just take the marquee tool and select over the area I want to um, keep and edit and cut and then edit and paste and then I go delete that empty layer I just click on it and hit delete so now where did it go there I did that to put that star down there so now you can edit oh you can just duplicate that layer and move this star where you want it so let me zoom back in and I'm gonna fill this star with white This would be after you get after you do your um blurring like i showed you on the incoming video this would be after you did your blurring that you you do your star i don't know why it keeps doing a double star like that i just want to feel it 
I, I'm not understanding why it's filling it with that star. Yes, because I have it selected. It shouldn't be. Made it feel. Yeah, it's just cancel. Cut. Edit. Paste. Edit. Feel. And it's still doing it. Maybe, maybe in here you you need to just make a new star. So let's cancel this and let's delete this layer like that. And let's just stamp another star. How about that? And let's fill it with white. Apply. Okay, maybe maybe you have to guys stamp another star. No, because look, it's doing you see that there? Let me pause and get this figured out. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's I'm just overthinking this. It's I think it's because it's on the same Yeah, I think it's just the same layer. So I gotta make a another empty layer. Empty layer. If I was gonna keep, if I was gonna just keep stamping with the brush, just say I want to stamp here, stamp here, stamp here, stamp here, then that's fine. If I put them all on the same layer, but because I want to move them individually, I need to work on um, individual layers. Yeah, right. I think that's right. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So now it's giving us that bound about I'm gonna leave it for now. But you want to make sure that's in the front. And it looks a little pink when I move it here, not all the way white. Edit feel white. There we go. Apply. So now we have have the star we want. So you just you're gonna have to keep um you can let's see. Let me try something. Edit cut edit paste and I'm gonna delete this layer. Put back on that layer. Where did it go? Okay. Uh, layer duplicate and then you yeah just duplicate and move where you want to move move where you want to move your stars to layer duplicate make some smaller this is up to you you freestyle this and then once you get that then you can make a another um, empty layer and just take your brush you can make use a different star use anything you want in in this brush palette and let's get some of these um, airbrush stroke um, brush strokes and let's make our color black or you could do pink or whatever color you want to do let's pick this blue and not not necessarily black and then just add you some little dots wherever you like whatever you want to do guys and then once you get that finished once you do all your um let's let me show you another thing add an empty layer and then let's come in and go smaller and let's change the color to white and then you can add some white dots and you can blur this even further if you want to you just follow the same steps um, I showed you how to um, blur these the name layers 
So, and you do it, if you do this on separate layers, let's say you put those white dots there and you're like, no, I don't really like those. You can turn them off. Turn them off. Before you save, just turn them off. You can go either way you want to go with this, guys. So then you file and you can save. Um... You can save it as a PNG file, and you can also, um, first I'm going to save it as the Pixlr file because I can come back in here and work with this file. This would be after you did all your um, blurring, but you could leave it like that if you if you like that. You could do that too. So, I'm going to download that Pixlr file, and then you can save it to the desktop. Then close that and you can also file and save it as a PNG file. You save it as a PNG file and then you can pull it into your Cricut. Download. I'm going to go ahead and download that PNG file and then close. And then next I'm going to open it in Cricut real quick. So once you pull it into your Cricut, then you want to hit complex continue next screen continue make sure you select print then cut and hit upload on your next screen select it insert images then you want to make sure you go 2.5 let's say 2.5 won't do it let's say i want to make some earrings at the size of 2.5 so i'll make a duplicate of that and if i want the back to be the same then i just make uh, another duplicate for me for these i would add glitter on the back if your customer wanted both sides with the print that's just a up charge because it's you know extra work and extra what well, not necessarily extra work but it's extra printer stuff extra product extra ink whereas with glitter you can um cut any of these colors um get a glitter sheet with any of these colors and put it on the back so if you're gonna cut um um the image for the front and the back no need to horizontal flip or anything just cut it just like it is and just hit make send that to your printer and then let your printer print it and then you load your machine and you cut it out if you're just going to do two then then um then then if you're just going to do two then you won't need these other two if you want to cut glitter then you just um let me group these first. You just make two if you're just going to use glitter. So with these, we're going to make these a basic cut. Basic cut file. And then you just cut. If you're going to do glitter, load your whatever color you're going to cut these out of and cut them. You can horizontal to flip these if you want to. That's up to you. I mean, I would. That's what I would do. I would just horizontally flip them and then cut the glitter. So I'm going to flip them back the right way. But it should match up perfectly because it's a circle. But either way, now for your layers. For If you use 140 pound white watercolor paper, you can put just two layers per earring if you want to. The more you use, the thicker the earrings will be. But if you're using cardstock, you would need to do at least no less than four and up to, I would put six, six, four to six is good for these earrings. If you're using cardstock, you want to use 110 pound cardstock and you can use black, white, pink, purple, whatever color you want to use. You can match the earring, however you want to do it, but you would make your layers if you're um 
doing cardstock, 110 pound cardstock, then you would um, make as many duplicates as you needed. So four for each earring and then load your mat up and cut this out of your black, white, whatever color cardstock. If you're going to use the Canson watercolor paper and let's say you want to do three layers per earring. And same thing, load it up with the Canson paper and cut six of these. If you're going to use two layers per earring, load your paper up, cut four of these. And these are put together, the print, print then cut, cardstock, um, Mod Podge layered, glued layers. This is how that you Mod Podge on, the, um, on these and um, put your image directly on top of these. Like I would put, put the two together and then put an image on there. And then put your Mod Podge over the image and let it dry. Then add your glitter on the back or whatever you're going to. If you're going to do the image on the back, you need to do the same thing. And then let them dry. And if you're going to add resin, for me, that's an upcharge. Or you could spray um, Rust-Oleum Clear Lacquer. You can find that at Walmart. It's like $3. It's like a clear spray paint. You can spray that on them and they will be fine. They will hold up well. I've been doing earrings like that for years. You do not need resin. So I hope this little tutorial helps you guys and I hope it's a little clearer or better to understand. Thanks for watching.